Hello, Peter Young here, and this is how you pan in Premiere Pro. To pan across your clip, your clip will either need to be larger than the current frame size, or you'll need to zoom into the clip slightly to allow you some room to move. To zoom in slightly, select the clip, go to the Effects Controls tab, and set the scale to something like 110. Now move the current time indicator to the point at which you want your pan to start. I'm going to start it at 0 seconds and I want it to move from left to right. So let's go to up to position and click the stopwatch icon there. Now we want to move the horizontal position of the clip uh, as far left as we can. So if we click on the horizontal position and drag to the right, what we're looking for is that the edge of the clip is just outside of the frame. Now we want to move the current time indicator to the point at which we want the pan to end. I want it to end at the end of this clip, so let's move it all the way across. And now we'll hover the mouse over the horizontal position again, click and drag to the left. So again, we want the right edge of the clip to be just beyond the frame. Now when we play the clip, we'll see that the clip is panning from left to right. If you want to shorten the time it takes to pan, just move one of the keyframes to an earlier position. Now when we play it, you'll see that it pans for the first few seconds and stops. To make the pan smoother, just select both the keyframes by clicking and dragging, right click on one of the keyframes, go to Temporal Interpolation and select Bezier. Now when we play from the start, it should move nice and smoothly. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, then feel free to click the like button below. The idea with Tech Bytes is to bring you the information you need to know as quickly as possible. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like more. And let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.